Today is actually a celebration about you for the 2017 Argentum National Hero Award. Wow. <laughs> I've been a nurse for almost 40 years now um, and kind of found my niche in um, assisted living and memory care, uh, particularly after my mother was diagnosed with, um, with uh, a dementia and struggled with it for about seven years before she passed. I think he personifies the idea of being a hero by just in his everyday interactions with everyone he meets, whether it's um, a resident, a caregiver, another nurse, a coworker like myself. Steve has compassion, and I think that's what it takes to be a hero. You can learn so much from these folks, these elders, especially folks that have memory care. My husband's been for quite a while not, not nonverbal, really. He talks but does not, you know. But Steve understood that, and he understood him. And he was just so good to him, and I'd see it with the other people here. Jerry was difficult to reach and I don't know whether it was just the sound of Steve's voice or the way he spoke to him. Jerry always responded to Steve positively and I think it's just Steve's persona and his voice and he just knows instinctively how to calm someone down or help someone over a little bit of a problem. He's the first one to bring in a birthday cake for someone's birthday or to bring in jelly donuts because it's donut day or build a garden with the residents because they want he wants them to have farm to table fresh vegetables. When there's been a resident here that's in the stage of passing and he has the family, he'll bring more furniture into the room, he'll um, wheel a tray of sandwiches in there for the family because they, they, they don't want to leave their loved one in, at that time. And sometimes it could be a couple of days. And he stays here. He stays here overnight. And he was with us for two days. Right through the night, Jerry passed at 6 o'clock in the morning, and Steve was in the room with us with the whole family. And um, he just gave us strength. He, he's just that kind of person. You need to form that relationship with the families. They need to trust you when they walk out of here after they do visit. This is their home, you know, and we try to make it their home. His staff is, I mean, they, they all adore him too. I mean, because they know that he's gonna fill in on their level. He, he's not like a boss. He would fill right in and he'd, he'd come in on his day off if they were short staffed. He leads by example and I think um, he's a wonderful department head leader. When you lead by example, people follow in your footsteps and he treats people with kindness and he's genuine and his staff follows that example. He um, serves as a role model more because he serves as that model by doing, by modeling how I would want to be cared for, how I would want my loved one cared for. I can't think of anybody more deserving to win this award. I um, often think of the Maya Angelou quote that I've learned in life that people will forget what you did, they'll forget what you said, but they'll never forget how you've made them feel. They're, they're like family. They're like family. You know, you just try to make every day a good day for them. He's my hero. Why wouldn't he be?